What is up guys, McDouble's back again with a brand new video and today it's time for New World, my first impression slash gameplay commentary video. What I'm going to go ahead and do is actually play the game. There's some server lag as you can see right now. Uh, you know, it's, it's closed beta, right? But here's the thing, I'm going to actually play the game, my first impressions of it, and if you want to skip to the end and get an incredibly abridged version of what I think, I'll have the timestamp in the description below but we're gonna go ahead and play some new world so i hope you guys enjoy the video two closed beta keys by the way a chance for you to win that at the end but without further ado let's jump right in all right here we are guys reminds me a lot of path of exile but with better graphics just only in the start only in the start all right wasd to move strafing little bit of downtime right there you don't just immediately do it like wow you kind of have to press the key Unfortunately, I can't move with my mouse in games like this. I really hate that. But you know what? It's a higher skill capped game, not just point and click. Let's see what it does. Draw my weapon, and I have mine set to a mouse button. Alright, block. Attack. Left shift to dodge. I can easily do that. Nice. I think we were supposed to heavy attack there, but it let me go through anyway. You've come so close. It's not fair. The UI is amazing, by What's the way. Happening to me? This is the cleanest UI I'm I've ever dying. seen. I'm not even kidding. Alright, so he died. I've read that this is not a story or narrative-based game, so I don't really care too much about what's going on in that regard. Alright, let's put the shield on. And we can put the food over here. And you eat food apparently like RuneScape. 40 health every second for 20. So it just does its thing and you don't have to do. Wow, that's OP. So it's kind of a mixture of both RuneScape and WoW food. I like my character being regular sized, by the way. Like this guy could be me if I worked out for just a little bit. That's exciting. <laughs> like it's exciting not being a beast monster of a freaking human male. All right, light attack, heavy attack, block. Let's get out of here. We have stamina. All right, let's do this. Oh, shit. Can I jump attack? No. Okay. All right. Heavy attack. Nice damage. So you can't quite kill them before you'd have to block. But also, it doesn't seem like the blocking matters. Let's go on this guy. I really like the graphics, by the way. Wow. This is smooth. Heavy attack. Easy. 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 Now, I like that it's not like Mountain Blade, so I don't have to, like, have different directional attacks. That's just so extra. Now, the way this works is that we have multiple different weapons, and you get abilities and talent trees. World of Warcraft-esque talent trees, uh, kind of, based on the weapon that you choose. I'm probably going to go for a spear. I also have a pretty cool build I want to try with the Ice Gauntlet, which is a new one that was added for the close beta, or I think right before, uh, as well as, I believe it was the Musket. But we're also going to try Spear Bow, I think, and, and just see if we can be very controlly. But we start off Sword Shield. You have to choose an ability. I'm going to go Sword Master if I have to be this. And now my Q is going to deal 145% weapon damage to all foes within 2 meters. So it's AoE. It's on a 15 second cooldown. It's also just damage, right? Not just AoE, but some free damage. I have auto run on M. It's a World of Warcraft hangover. Don't judge me. All of my keybinds I set up while this game was down for maintenance. Look at the graphics. You know I'm only running this on high. I don't know if I can go past high because I've heard it's been frying GPUs and stuff. But uh, for what I can do, and, you know, just not to risk anything with my computer, this is one of the most beautiful games I've ever played that was an MMO. If, no, it's the most beautiful MMO I've ever played. Especially in terms of pure smoothness. Guys, I can't get over how smooth the game is. That really does matter. Lots of UIs are clunky, man. This really has a Path of Exile Diablo feel to it, and I think that's really a good direction. And I just mean in terms of graphics, nothing's like super cheerful. Everything's just sad. And God, I gotta be honest, I want some sad shit nowadays. Everything's too happy. All right, here's our captain. I guess we got to kick his ass real quick. There's like a corruption thing happening. I kind of like the trope, to be honest. Oh, he has a great sword. Oh, you're big. Now, I know the island's secret. Now, oh. I know true power. Can I block his attacks? What's going on?
All right, there is no like uh, stagger. So you're not just chaining them and they can't attack you back. Like they're going to get their attacks off. I guess I just dodged that, right? Yeah, yeah, I should dodge more. Oh, okay. He outplayed me. That was very scuffed, but what I like is that there's some clear nuance in how you play. Oh, yes, dude! But the nuance I'm seeing there, like, I already can see that I need to get better. That's good. That means I can outplay people who don't choose to be that good. I like that right off the bat. It's not so complex like Mountain Blade 2 to where you just feel like, why would I bother unless I'm a complete sweat? It's also not complex in the way of WoW, where you have like 50 keybinds. Like, if I wasn't a kid when I first started WoW, I could not jump into it the way I do now and just start wrecking. But it's not overly simplistic. Oh, yes! Investigate the watchtower. Let's do it. Wait, so you can interact with basically everything, right? So I have flint. Nice! I guess you could probably make arrows or something with that. Alright, let's see what we can do. Watchers campfire, craft or rest? The fuck? <laughs> what? Can I dance? Oh yeah! That's nice. Dude, this guy has green hair. I almost chose that hair. Can I craft? Okay, wood longsword. That sounds like it sucks. I was right about the flint. It just makes sense. Um, okay, so you can, for some reason, craft all sorts of stuff in this fire. <laughs> um, whatever. Anyway, moving on. Let's see what this, uh, this guy has to say. One of the drowned? I mean, this really is Path of Exile. I'm McDoubles. Complete the quest. Give me my duelist boots. I could care less about the story. I don't think it matters that much. We're here for the gameplay. We're here for the PvP. So I have to defeat the drowned, right? Let's go ahead and defeat the drowned. I wish I could buy another weapon right off the bat. Was there a guy back there that I can buy weapons from? At the very bare minimum, I have new gear. It's as easy as pressing tab. Like, what the hell? Uh, I guess there's no tab target for that to matter. Or else that would have been a really bad uh, oversight on their part to um, get people used to tab. Upgrade available. Interesting. So I have my attribute points. The way this works is that some weapons, and it tells you, which is really nice, uh, are going to scale better and do more damage based on the attribute point that you do. But some weapons will also be affected by other uh, attribute points, but to a lesser degree. So for example, the spear is mostly strength, but you're also going to get some benefits from dexterity with the spear. So, you know, you're going to have to choose your nuance there and decide, you know, what's best. Since I have a sword and shield and I'm going to go spear, I'm going to go full strength and just see what happens there. Just take that extra damage, I guess. This shit's beautiful. I can't get over it, man. Only because of the smoothness. It is so damn smooth. All right, so tab is this. I found a landmark. Wait, let me set up. Wow, okay. This is really smooth, too. Let me set a keybind, actually, for my map. I have a special keybind for that. Okay, so here's the world. And we're in the zone of Windsward. All right. All right, three drowned defeated. Let's do it. There's a bush back there I could have clicked on. I can click on a bush. What do I get? Green wood. Add to journal? New chapter discovered. Oh, shoot. Okay. All right. I like that the combat is easy when you start the game. That's nice. Supply caches everywhere. I'll take it. Iron cartridge, old hardtack. Interesting. I wonder if you just collect those for XP or if it gave me a quest. I am going to go for all of my uh, side stuff. And by side stuff, I mean we have a bunch of extra abilities apparently that we can go into as well. Yeah, weapon mastery, trade skills. Oh, yeah. Can't wait to get into that, dude. This is really nice. This is functionally impressive. I am not going to lie. Amazon has outdone themselves. Let's go on this guy. Heavy attack into Q seems to be nice. I like that. One thing I'm excited for is another game where I can utilize the fact that I'm really good at using keybinds and uh, I type really fast to an advantage, to my advantage. WoW is like that. Mountain Blade is not, right? So uh, Fortnite is not, right? So I I'm excited to see something where I can utilize my quick fingers once again. So I'm getting sword mastery when I kill things. I'm really enjoying that. It just makes you feel good. Quest is super fast. Quest is done. Let's go turn it in. Ooh, flint. I like that. All right, where is this guy? I have, I have no idea. Okay, nice. Cross the water. Duelist's pants. Thank you very much. Of course.
I'll put them on in a second. What do I what do I have to do now? Craft a flint skinning knife at the fire. Okay, they're teaching me how to craft flint skinning knife. Then use the camera to craft a skinning knife. Nice. Alright, exit station. Purchase upgrades. So I have two more points, put that in the strength. I'm gonna enjoy this, guys. I'm gonna enjoy this because there's a lot of theory crafting to do. Hunt down a boar. Alright, I can hunt boars down. Sometimes the feel, like this is the best feel. Guys, here's why my point of view is probably pretty useful to you. I have recently tried so many MMOs like World of Warcraft, private server versions like Ascension, Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, Flint! It's a gold mine! Um, well, it's a flint mine. Uh, no, uh, but also, uh, let's see, Star Wars, The Old Republic, and just like all these, ESO, all of these other ones, and um, just trying to find something to do. This guy's skinning that. I guess the knife I'm using could be used for that. But my point is, this feels the best, and that's why I did it in part. This feels the absolute best. All right, heavy attack. There we go. Didn't even hit me back. Okay, equip a skinning knife. All right. I am now skinning this boar, so I think they're gonna- Is this like Tutorial Island from RuneScape? And I don't even realize it yet? Are they just teaching me how to do everything? I like it, I'll take it. Oh, you just roll less. If you don't have enough energy, you just roll a little bit less far. That's interesting. If you go straight to zero, you have to wait, and you can't do anything until it goes all the way back up to 100. I like that. Alright, let's cook. Cook, 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 light ration, I'll take it. This is nice. Kind of reminds me of a Skyrim-esque feel here, by the way. Can I make anything else? Flint logging axe. Okay. Let's have that. I'll take it. I probably had to do that at some point. I probably shouldn't have done that. I really want to be molded and bred in PvP in this game. Like, you can't just not play in PvP mode and expect to be good at the game. I just don't see that happening. You really need to turn PvP mode on and get a feel for the game by constantly worrying about, is somebody going to attack me? And then defending yourself and then ganking other players and all the nuance that comes. I've said nuance like four times, uh, but just the nuance that comes from um, the unpredictability of a real player versus an NPC. Super awesome. All right, heavy attack into Q and he still got me. I don't want to take any damage. So maybe it was heavy attack Q dodge. Can you pre-dodge? Camping available. Oh yes, more flints. I don't know why I want this, but I do. I like if it's not an, okay. What I really like is that it's not a narrative game, right? But they're not trying to make it a narrative. Ooh, not trying to make it a narrative game anyway. You know, by making everything slow and pretend like you care about the story, but you don't type of things. Uh, ooh, leather glove. Warhammer! How do I take all this again? Oh, I just have it. Oh my god, hello? Rude? Oh, there we go. If I hadn't taken that first hit, I would have taken no damage there. I'll take it. A Warhammer is apparently about stunning and CC and stuff like that, right? Might be good for PvP, could possibly be too slow. This is what this looks like. It's freaking massive, and I like it. Some people have complained. I'm sick of using tiny-ass shit-tier weapons from WoW um, until you get to max, and then things just don't even look like this anymore. They're so crazy-looking, but they're big. I want a normal hammer just like this. I've always wanted that. All right, one, two, dodge. Doesn't even attack me back, but there you go. That works. The bushes get me every time. I really like that you can interact with everything in a way that's not like WoW and more like RuneScape or possibly... Really, it's more like ESO, I guess. I mean, the things disappear. That's very RuneScape-esque. I've actually read that the crafting system is similar in terms of, like, mining nodes and stuff to RuneScape, where, you know, everything is in a certain location. I prefer that, personally, because people will compete for those locations, and it'll help balance out the economy. One thing I don't like about WoW is how freaking weak the economy feels. Like, it just feels horrible, especially for a new player or a casual player. But, like, RuneScape... RuneScape has so much depth to their economy, and I'm really hoping they take this game more in that direction. So far, it seems they have. So far, it really feels like the people that are designing the combat behind this game know what they're doing. Some games, shit's either way too bloated or there's not enough, right? In this game, I feel like I've got just the right amount of keybinds for just the right amount of stuff. Alright, ship's locker. Tattered chest. And it just keeps giving me another quest, kind of like, you know, what they did in WoW with Cataclysm. All right, there we go. Finally, Warhammer Mastery. Let's get our first ability, right? 
one point available. I can either go for clear out, a wide swing that knocks enemies back, uh, creates distance, does extra damage, or armor breaker, a powerful swing that penetrates the armor of your target and deals big boy damage. We're going to go for that. I like big boy damage, don't you guys? Yes. All right. We'll have to try it on an actual person or an NPC rather. All right. Landmark charted. It kind of puts you where you need to be. I like it. I really like it. All right. Ship's flag. Lots of stuff for me to fight around here too. Let's try it. All right. Q. Ooh. Okay. Let's kill some more stuff. Oh, God. Here's a big boy. Wow. Easy. Absolutely easy. And mega hit. Okay. That's really nice. So let's try heavy. Oh, I can can I can animation cancel that on accident. You got to be very careful. You can animation cancel basically everything. Ooh, loot. Flint arrow. I'll take it. Didn't I get a bow? Okay, so I can actually grab another thing. I can either go for clear out or I can grab mighty gavel. And I want mighty gavel. So mighty gavel, we already read clear out. But mighty gavel says an overhead leaping attack that crushes down on enemies. That's pretty sick. Uh, let's see. Nice. Everything seems imbued with magic uh, to some degree, which is cool. I like it. I like the consistency. It's going to, well, it has seemingly made the game a lot cooler in my eyes. I'll say that much. Where am I going? All right, here we go. Nice. 20 second cooldown on that, though. All right, lights. All right, you can easily animation cancel your stuff. All right, it, it seems like the best way to play this game is to take things slow, right? And while you want to go as fast as you can, if you can, it seems like in this game you want to take things a little bit slow. Just so you can master the animation canceling and stuff like that. Ooh, it's vertical. There's verticality. I like that. All right, so my health does not regen very fast. So this food seems to be incredibly important. Way more important than I initially may have thought. All right, heavy. Wow, you can miss those. Interesting, you can miss abilities. Like just straight miss. This is a lot better than ESO right off the bat. They really learned the lessons there with ESO. All right, Drowned Quartermaster. Oh, you can, you can go fast. I missed that, hello? Oh, he has armor. Nice. I don't know how scuffed it is, but it's definitely fun, and I definitely feel like I'm learning. It's literally the feeling you want to get. Look at all the bushes, man. This is so easy. You just spam your interact button. Get so much stuff. Well done. Treated wood These bow. Thank okay. you very much. There we go. One nice easy keybind to switch weapons. Don't need to clog it. Let's check out the bow. So I know the musket. Oh, I need arrows. Hello? Can I just equip the ones I have? Okay, I can. All right. So yeah, there are arrows in this game. All right, into the axe. Okay, that's AOE. Nice. I'll take it. Pretty easy. I'm liking it. Now, I don't think the bow is amazing. It's not scaling off strength. All right, you can easily miss. Oh, yes. Ow. The hammer hits so hard. All right, you can definitely miss. Oh my god. Like Fortnite miss. Like a FPS game. Like Mountain Blade 2 kind of miss. Oh! A spear! Yes! That's what I actually wanted. Alright, take the bow off. Alright, I forgot. Can't do anything while I have stuff on cooldown. Alright, just give me a second. We're gonna go spear and axe for now. Why not, right? Or spear and hammer, sorry. Since I have to get kills with this, I'm just gonna play with it with no abilities for a moment. Wow, it's fast. Oh, yeah. I really like this. 
I just jumped right in on what I think is an elite. Nice. Spear Mastery 2. To give you an idea of how easy that was, I had no abilities and didn't even really care too much about dodging. And everything's dead. Oh, a weapon chest. Flat bow and great axe. Nice. All right, maybe we should try the great axe. All right, salt, Peter. I can only assume that's for bullets or something for the musket, right? I like that you could just use everything. That is so awesome. All right, we're finally out of the well, cave. Wow. All right, we're going to Windsward now. A settlement. I'm going to kill some stuff along the way and get some more abilities with the great axe and the spear. Also, can I take this shield off? Yeah, okay. I think it does nothing but um, give you more weight if you're not using a sword, so that's a big waste. So my computer is not garbage. It's really not. It's definitely above average. And it struggles in Windsward, okay? <laughs> it definitely is struggling with FPS, so do keep that in mind. If you're not using the best PC in the world, true, it seems like you're being gate kept pretty hard by this game. All right, we got a hat now. Yes, I'll take it. I will definitely take it. Nice, I'm setting my hearthstone. I'll take that. In Wind's word. All right, storage space and trading post. It looks like the different factions are taking over different zones as well. Okay, storage shed. Where is this on the map? It's in the... Oh, okay, there's a marker for everything. So the southern part of Windsward, and we can just put stuff in here, it seems. Now, I believe the trading post I'm going to is basically just an auction house. Yeah, definitely right about that. The most expensive thing right now is defiled cloth pants. <laughs> okay, I don't even know if this is good, but it only requires 13, so I'm going to say no. Interesting. I can change skin and hide my headgear. I'm going to do that. You just right click it up here and change skin. I'm not a big fan of the hats and MMOs typically. It has to look really cool. All right, complete quest to help the settlement before investigating rumors. Gotcha. All right, now I seem to be at a point where I can just explore, right? And actually do anything I want. I'm going to go outside of Windsward now and just try to collect all these materials and do some quests. Guys, these people are trolls. Amazon are trolls. Jeff Bezos is a troll. Dank fur, Hollow? Really? Dank fur. Wow, you could just do every single profession. No issue. So smooth, man. So smooth. I can't get over the smoothness. A dank fur wolf, man. Oh my god. It's attacking me. What a meme. At least I get the skin. Oh my god, look, it keeps the skinning duration that I was on. I don't have to restart. It's the little things sometimes that count, guys. It's the little things. I wish I could get rid of that crap at the bottom that tells me that there's going to be maintenance soon. This maintenance has already happened as of the recording of this video. Like, right now, as I'm playing, it's already happened. Why is it still there? All right, let's cut another one down. Seems like that's a lot faster. Oh, I can't cut this one down? Yes! Because I need a logging skill of 50! Yes! It's like RuneScape! I'm already so excited. I'm already so excited, guys. I love RuneScape. I just wish it was a better game. This is what I'm looking for. If only they could add back loot drop on death. Just to, like, one zone. Call it the damn wilderness. Just copy RuneScape. Nobody cares. It adds an item sink. It adds high risk. It's just good. I, I get having it everywhere all the time is unappealing to a lot of people. But there's no reason why you can't have one place where it goes down, right? Nice. All right, I like trees a lot better than bushes. Now I need to gather stone. Yes! Why is this so exciting? I think it's because it's what I've always wanted. It's RuneScape meets World of Warcraft meets, uh, well, the Elder Scrolls series. And yeah, you call it a day with that. I'm gonna mine the giant boulder and just go AFK. It'll probably give me enough stone by the time it's done for me to complete the quest. Damn, I actually was wrong. I'm too off. I'll take the tiny boulder. It'll be fine. I thought this was going to take forever. I'm not going to lie. But no, the profession stuff seems to be super chill. Oh my god. I'm getting ganked by wolves. By the dank first. No. Oh wow. What the hell is that? 
I'm not using Javelin Toss well, which is obviously concerning if I want to be like a Spear Main, if that's going to be a thing. And I definitely think I do. But you know what? Honestly, I could end up changing at any time. That's what's so sick. I can be whatever I want. I'm not relegated to one thing because of a class I chose at the beginning. Nice. Great Axe 3. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. I'm really excited. All right. Uh, charge. No. Maelstrom. Yes. I don't think I would have normally done that, but the fact of the matter is Maelstrom just looks better. Cannot respec. What do you mean? Commit one point. All right. Let's see. That's what I want to see. All right. I want to see some damage. All right. Got another book. I'll take the book. Where's my freaking iron and why is it all silver? I've seen so much silver and nobody can get it. Which I like, but also, where's my iron? Alright, Great Axe seems sicko mode so far. And then we switch to this spear. We do like that. We start off like that. Go back to the Great Axe. Nice. I mean, we're just gung-ho, right? Like, we're not even caring about dodging, blocking. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I... Oh my god, I'm so freaking happy. Look at my coat dude it's awesome you guys need to get in this i'm actually so excited that you guys are going to be able to get in this too that i had some closed beta keys that amazon gave me to give out to you guys because this is not normal like this is what a 21st century mmo should look like or a 2020 plus um mmo right like this is this is the new bar okay this is what people are going to expect several days later okay guys it's a brand new day on ziavir I love that my ping is apparently so bad. I'm going to blame that on the server. But anyway, guys, let's jump back into the game. All right, so for you guys, this is all one video. For me, this is a brand new day. And the game obviously looks amazing. It's so cool. What I have to go ahead and do is acquire iron ingots right now. Some coarse leather. Kill some goats if I can find them. Make a camp. There we go. And ideally, we're going to level up some of these skills as well with the spear and with the axe i want three abilities definitely we haven't chose our faction yet but i know i'll be able to do that soon so i could potentially go like that nice okay so i could like roll back javelin toss and eventually the javelin i think knocks people down right there's a lot of utility with the javelin toss i'm right away thinking it's not going to be super good Ooh, I can kill the dead tree. I don't think it's going to be too good, to be honest with you. But I could be wrong, because the passive perks, it could completely change the game. And I don't know what PvP feels like yet. We've got to get to a point where we're actually PvPing. I do know all you have to do is follow the main quest. I read that anywhere between, like, levels 8 and 12 is when you get your faction choice. It depends on how fast you are. I think I'm going at a relatively fast speed, but it's hard to tell, because at this point, I've kind of hit a brick. A little bit of stagger on the javelin, by the way. I like that. That guy just tried to steal my wolf. I don't know if it would, like, let us both have it or if he was going to take it for himself. All right, there's definitely some latency issues in Windsward right now. It's just closed beta, so it makes sense, but you can see it. It was not like this last night. It's not my computer, so... Okay, Adventurer's Warhammer. don't really want the Warhammer right now, but I'll take the gold. So the way this works is that there's the Covenant, the Marauders, and the Syndicate. And the only reason to join any of them is entirely based on personal preference, right? Marauders, to me, seems like dumb brutes. Covenant seems like pussies. Syndicate seems cool. But I know everybody's basically going to go down that general train of thought. So I think I'm probably going to choose uh, either the Marauders or the Covenant. I still have a hard time picking the Covenant right off the bat with my own biases there, right? Yeah, I'm, I might be. I might be the stuff of Marauders. We'll have to figure that one out. The Covenant's all about, like, the holy light and crap, and I'm just so sick of that trope in every freaking video game. I'm sick of it in real life. I'm sick of it, period. Alright, the church. Thank you. Now I have to consult with the magistrates. And I never know where to go based on the map alone, but it doesn't matter because I have the compass up here on the top. Alright, is this the magistrate? Oh my god, what was that? What the fuck? I can't move. Lag detected. It says lag detected. I really like the territory standing. Increasing my XP gain. It just seems right for the closed beta. Complete missions for XP coin and faction tokens. Earn influence. Complete, compete strategically against enemy factions. Love that. PvP missions. Yes. Okay. Fuck it. Let's go. Come on. Lag for PvP. Enabling your PvP flag gets you additional XP. When you leave the settlement, you get a 30 second timer and then you become flagged. 
If I kill people, I'm assuming that helps me contribute to the influence war, which makes my faction take control of a territory. And then I get more PvP missions. Select my faction, Marauders. I think I already... Well, it doesn't matter. Let's go Marauders. You can only change every 120 days, so this is actually like a big boy decision. I think the Marauders are good. It's not quite uh, flavor of the month like Syndicate. It's not quite complete shit like the Covenant. So let's go Marauders. Healthy middle. Ooh, and level 9. Okay, you can actually see on the bottom, if I press U, PvP disabled, press it again, PvP enabled. So, this is about to be fun. I have some quests to do, I have some things to do, I don't have to go in a linear progression as far as I'm concerned. I, I'm pretty sure I can just run out here and do professions and kill people. So that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go do some PvP and round this out, because uh, I definitely want to try it. I only have two abilities for both of my weapons. And the first thing that happens is I get one shot by a guy three times my level. I can see how losing your gear at this point in the game would really suck. If max level players or high level players can attack you. They should probably make it to where you can only fight people within a certain level range. Like every other game. And you can't say you opted your way into it either. Because let's be honest, nobody goes into PvP so that a guy three times as high as them can one shot them. You know what I mean? People go into PvP because they want um, you know, a fight that they can come back from. You know, getting ganked obviously gives the ganker an advantage, but it shouldn't be impossible to win or else that's bad. Nice, Great Axe rank 4. Feedback. This game is honestly really good. I want loot drop on death. And more weapons. The loot drop on death will make the player economy better. Maybe relegate it to a specific zone like runescape great job guys all right and i'm going to give you guys a solid five all right great axe let's see what do we got i can either go for charge which makes a lot of sense because it's just wild charge well it's kind of not actually it's more like scion's ultimate from league of legends you even become unstoppable quite literally charge 10 meters dealing some weapon damage if i press left mouse button i am on i can you know do the damage early and i'm unstoppable so i can't be interrupted or Whirlwind, spin attack, dealing 50% weapon damage, which is bad, to all nearby foes. If I hit a foe, I spin again. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go charge. The reason I'm gonna go charge, I like to PvP. But Whirlwind would be good if I was just questing and not caring about the PvP part. Let's check out charge. Can I fight any of these people? God, these things come for you. Look at that. Yeah, this is a big boy. I didn't even realize it. Look, his name's in orange. He's even dodging my shit. Oh my god. I missed so much crap. I think it's the latency. Let's see what loot we get from that. File of perfume. Oh, I had to get that. It was for the quest. Okay. Oh, I love the loot that you can just find in places, man. Oh my god. Alright. Musket of the Monk. Strength and focus. Keenly jagged. On crit causes a bleed. Nice. This is good. This is really fun. Easy. Oh. Alright. Nice. Spear rank for a rapier from that. Another rapier from that. I might want to use that musket to be honest with you at some point. I can either go cyclone, pushes people back, does damage, and slows targets. That's good. Or skewer, which is just another charge. Let's do cyclone and go hard into zoner. Once you get the hang of it, it's very easy. Now that I have three abilities, I, I really need to decide, like, do I want to try the musket? I think I definitely want to. 
All right, I do really like the spear and the axe. I'm going to keep trying it. Zoner right now with the spear. Just big dick damage, right? With the great axe. One of my reaper and mauler. Okay. All right, here's a big boy. All right, finish you off. Oh my God. Are you kidding? I'll take it. What the heck was that? He literally dodged it. Forsaken Longsword. Hello? Okay, it's just average. I want to get an axe and a spear that's green. That would be really, really nice. I've only seen people of my own faction here, by the way. I wonder if the other factions, like, literally go to these other zones. I love Javelin Toss. You do get punished pretty hard if you just go in and just start smacking them because they will get hits on you. It's very easy to dodge everything if you just play it slow. Life Jewel. I wonder if this is rare. Requires mining 50. Man, it makes me want to level up my professions. Jesus. It's like literally in RuneScape. Like you'll be minding your own business. You randomly see, let's say, coal or mithril ore. And you're like, shit, I want that. Yeah, the Darius Q. <laughs> I keep calling it that. It's Apprehend. It's literally Darius's Q. It's really good. It can functionally be used in the exact same ways as the League of Legends version. In that you can interrupt stuff with it. Animation cancel with it. I, I see myself getting so lost just playing the game that I'm not even doing the quest. That has to be a good thing. Like, that has to be a good thing that I'm enjoying it that much. I tried Final Fantasy. I did think it was better than WoW right now. But I did not get lost in it like I did this. You know, that's something I keep really thinking about. I like the charge. It feels balanced. It's not just point and click and you're there. That's always nice. Yeah, there's a lot of combos. You can knock people away, slow them, charge back at them with the axe. I like it. I mean, I think for PvP, and I'm just guessing here, right? Uh, I think that you're probably going to want one range, one melee, or just double range every time. We'll see if the balance is there. I know there's hit scan with the uh, musket. It might not matter that much, though. I've been very impressed. All right, I'm going to build a campfire right here and cook some food and just kind of, like, prepare myself. There's a lot of people here that are just straight up higher level than me. So one thing I will be super honest about as well is the fact that you really can't do a lot of PvP early on because everybody's higher level than you and everybody just ganks people that can't possibly beat them. I do wish there was some kind of level bracket there, like within three levels maybe, maybe two. And that that's the only range that you can attack people in. I think that would just be fair and fun. And then obviously when people reach max, it means they can't grief. And uh, they're, they're only going to be attacking people their level, basically. There's really no reason not to have a system like that, other than the idea that you might like to grief. And trust me, we all like it sometimes. It's a guilty pleasure of a lot of people. But it really shouldn't be a regular, normal thing. I really want to figure out what all that means. Property tax, trading tax, all that. How is that going to affect my gameplay? I've done some of these PvP quests real quick. It's a little wonky because max level players can ruin them for you, apparently. All right, complete and complete. I'm going into Constitution now just to get a little bit more health. Ooh, leveling rewards, I forgot about this. So I can duel people now at level 10. Get my first house at 15. Oh, I need to really empty my bags and uh, use the storage stuff. All right, my first trinket, Tribal Loyalty Charm. So it's a bunch more health. I like that. Okay, so some of the stuff I found can be used to give my weapons extra mods, right? I can get Focus and Dexterity, which is like healing... Uh, and a little bit of extra damage if I put that on a spear. Or I can get health. I'm going to go ahead and just craft an iron spear and an iron great axe. It is better than what I have. Nice. Iron great axe. It actually worked. And now the spear. And it worked immediately as well. Two dexterity on that. A little weird with the focus, but it's okay. Great axe of the night. Okay. Is it better than what I just made? No, it's not. Wow. So actually crafting stuff is good. I mean, it's kind of better. It's a little bit less damage. But I do get more strength. And I get haste. Let's actually try that. Simply because it seems like 
it might be good enough to replace negative two damage with uh, an on hit effect, on crit effect, I should say. All right, I think this is a PvP quest. It's level nine. Hoping I find people my level. What am I doing here? We need supplies. Hunt down wolves. Okay. What I've noticed is that you can really lose yourself in the quests. I have a lot of quests right now, and they're not exactly super fast all the time. Like, I have to collect soil right now, but the soil is not readily apparent as to where it is, at least not from what I can tell. What's going to happen is a little circle is going to appear, and that's going to indicate to me that I can interact with the ground in that area, and then I can get the soil. But, you know, if I don't run across one of those... I have no idea what I'm supposed to do, so I have to constantly run all the way around here. And then as I'm doing it, I'm gathering, I'm just playing the game, and I'm really enjoying it. Because there's always something, it feels like at least, to learn from. Even in your interactions with NPCs. I would love to find more people my level to PvP. That would be awesome. Most people that are PvPing are just stomping lobies right now. But other than that, it's pretty fun. Also, I crafted a sickle, and now I can harvest strawberries and cabbages and potatoes and stuff. Very RuneScape-esque, right off the bat. The woodcutting is so satisfying. It's just amazing. I'm only level 5, right? And I, all I have to do is keep killing, killing, cutting down young trees. I want to be able to cut a mature tree down. I'm curious how many of these young trees I'm going to have to take down before I get to 50. What I think I need to do is after I'm done with some quests, I'm going to craft some brand new iron equipment, like an iron logging axe, iron skinning knife, maybe an iron sickle. I'm very curious to see if that's going to speed it up by a significant amount. Nice, scout gauntlets of the soldier, dude. That's great. Six strength, angry earth ward, 2.9% damage absorption against angry earth, whatever that means. I'll take it though. Needed new gloves for sure. And hey, they're actually heavy. So I have like iron steel-esque looking gloves on i'll take it one thing i'd like to see them do is smooth out the weapon switching sometimes uh, it just switches my weapon but not my abilities i'm sure that's intended but it sucks <laughs> so they should probably switch that around all right we're done over here let's go back to cooper's farm do some quests up here and turn everything in I think after I'm done with these quests, what I'm going to go ahead and do is give you guys my final determination on how I feel about the game, what I would change, which actually is not that much, and then my overall impressions of it so far. I can already tell you that it's easily one of the best games I've ever played. That says a lot. I've been on this earth for a bit, definitely in the heyday of video games, especially MMOs. None of them have ever felt this good. Not even World of Warcraft when I first started felt this good. That says a lot. And I am a WoW YouTuber, right? So, WoW. <laughs> really, WoW. I do really like Spear plus Great Axe. It's kind of slow. It's probably not too great for PvP. But it's fun. And one thing I've noticed is that that's all that matters to me. And that's pretty cool as well. I'm not getting this, you know, min-max inclination. That I get with other games. I'm sure it'll come. There's a lot of nuance there with all the little uh, extra effects you can get. It's very much like Ascension, actually. Very much like random enchants, but a little less random in some ways because it seems like you can just buy the ones you want easily. I mean, you could do that in Ascension, too. I guess the name random enchant is just disingenuous in that game at this point. Level 2 cooking. This is the slowest one for me so far. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it really does take a bit to level cooking, it seems, compared to other things so far. I'm not complaining about it, by the way. It's just an observation, and it's interesting. You know, a lot of people are complaining about there not being mounts in this game. I'm fine. I I'm completely fine with it. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. Could get old. Could see it getting old. I just don't want it to become stupid. Like, I just don't want to see crazy things anymore. What I like about this game is that it's realistic. And I don't mean in terms of, like, you know, people dying in one hit or, like, hyper-realistic. I just mean look at it. It looks like a real world. It doesn't look like it's overly fantasized. There's magic, but it just fits. It actually fits. I don't want to see people on, like, unicorns and, you know, rainbow mounts and giant frogs and, and things that just don't make any sense. I mean, I, I like that in my World of Warcraft kind of now. I do not like that in my idea of New World. Hopefully they keep that kind of stuff out. And if they do mounts, hopefully it's just basic horses and they're nothing crazy. But I really hope they don't, at least not right now. We'll see if I change my mind on that. 
Nice. Officer Pants of the Fighter. That's better than what I have, too. That's strength and dexterity. That's exactly what I want with this particular build. Nice. All right, guys. Everything is turned in. Let me go ahead and give you what I think of New World. First impressions so far. So first and foremost, what I will say is that New World is easily the best MMO I've played uh, to date, right? It is. So far. So far. First impressions, I'm getting extremely good vibes. I've gone in the spear. I've gone in the great axe. I've tried the hammer. I've tried the sword and shield because we all do. Bow and musket. Musket is interesting. Haven't tried the magic yet, but I can't wait. This is my skill stuff so far. Um, you know what? A lot of the reason I haven't gone as much into this... It's because it doesn't make for a good first impressions video to do nothing but um, crafting skills the whole time. But I'm going to do this. As soon as this video is done and I'm done editing it, this is what I'm going to go back out and do. This seems really fun. Weaponsmithing, armoring, engineering, jewel crafting, arcana. I mean, this is fun, okay? Logging is fun. That's one thing I can't wait to go out and do again. It does feel like WoW plus RuneScape, and that's pretty sick as well. I like the attributes because it at least gives the impression of uh, some kind of player choice. Now, whether or not it'll be that way, or if everybody's going to end up copying one certain way to do your stuff, that is to be seen. Level 12, though, at the end of it all, and what I do want to say is that, yeah... This is definitely worth your time. So, I have two closed beta keys to give you guys. Just leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll randomize it, reply to your comment, and then we can hit each other up on disc, and I'll send you the code, because you've got to get in this game. You've got to give it a try. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm going to keep playing, because this is, again, I can't stop saying it, the best MMO that I've played in a really long time. It has a lot of potential. I hope Amazon doesn't screw it up. I can't wait to try more weapons, but this is freaking amazing. The ability Abilities feel good. Everything feels just great. UI is amazing. There's some lag right now. I do wish high level people could not destroy you in PvP. I wish they could just give you a level cap or a level bracket or something like that uh, because they kind of shot themselves in the foot by allowing high level players to regularly interact with low level players in the starter zone. That's probably an oversight at best. Uh, so, you know, just making it to where maybe within three levels you can fight would be best. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it won't matter that much at the end of the day. I really don't know. But that's just what I think right now. I haven't been able to find any other iron ore. Um, they're could be a place around here where there's a bunch of it and I'm gonna look for that place but it could also be that spawns are kind of messy I know some people can't find fey iron as easy so maybe they have to look at that as well but it's closed beta guys so I'm gonna go ahead and jump right back into this game but I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here for you guys if you want to see more new world let me know in the comment section below you probably will anyway regardless of how the video does because I really enjoy the game I hope you guys enjoyed the video though, this was my first impressions and gameplay commentary of New World, Amazon's brand new MMO, so if you enjoyed the video make sure to give it a like and to subscribe, but I will see you guys in the next video, McDoubles out. <laughs>